it's Thursday, the final day of Common, and um, I'm in Orlando, Florida for the big event, Common's 50th anniversary, the final day. I spent all day Thursday speaking. That the only exceptions were in the middle of the day there was the meeting of the members, and at the end of the day, when all was said and done, we had our closing event, which they call the main event, um, which was a 60s theme. So I spent most of the day speaking. Um, I was actually in the same room that I had been in on Wednesday. So if you saw the Wednesday video, you know that I had run out of space in the room and they had taken the wall down to give me basically a double room with more space. Well, I stayed in it and they kept the wall down and guess what? <laughs> we filled every seat in the double room. Fortunately, it seemed to be enough. There weren't people standing in the back or sitting on the floor, so that's good, but we actually filled my room yesterday was sold out. See, now they've made it bigger. And I'm start that one looks like it's going to fill up pretty well as also. Common's meeting of the members was uh, about an hour long. Uh, maybe a little bit longer than that. And uh, Wayne Madden went over um, basically the state of Common. Um, it turns out that Common is indeed uh, still losing money this year, but they have cut that down dramatically over what was lost uh, last year. And so they show that as an upward trend. So this is how they had the room set up. You can see Wayne Madden, the president of Common, standing on the left. Next to him is Jim Oberholzer, Dan Kimmel, Ralph Trevazzi, Pete Masiello, Randy Dufo, that you can't see him behind Jeff Carey. Jeff Carey is the next one you can see. Trevor Perry, um, Bruce Collins, Guy Havlick, Pete Helgren, and Kevin Mort. And Wayne announced that Sandy Curitan, IBM's liaison to Common, is stepping down, replaced now by Guy Havlick. Pete Helgren was elected to the board of directors. Kevin Mort also elected to the board of directors. And Jim Oberholzer is re-elected as a director. So congratulations to those guys. So, we want to congratulate and sitting at our table. To summarize the rest of the changes made to the board of directors, Randy Dufo's term is up as past president, so he is stepping down, as is Jeff Carey, who was one of the directors before. He is stepping down from the board, but they'll both be remaining active in common. Wayne Madden is no longer the president. He becomes the past president of common. Trevor Perry is going to take over as the executive vice president. Jim Oberholzer is moving to be the treasurer now of common. Dan Kimmel becomes the Secretary of Common, and taking up term as the new President of Common is Pete Masiello. Thank you to all of the board members for the great service that you do to our community and Common. So then Wayne gave out plaques to the departing board members, which I thought was very nice. And at the end of that, he said something that I didn't understand, which is why I have these question marks on the screen. I didn't understand what he said, but it kind of sounded like he said my name in there, and it's really bugging me. It really is. I don't know what he said. I'm probably just being paranoid, but you listen and, and you tell me what, what he said. I'll give them to them afterwards, but we do get to keep something when we're not on the board and then go to the old board place in the sky.
Then as normal, uh, they invited people to come up to the mic, um, question, ask a question for the board, and get answers from the board. You know, if this only affects 68 people, why can't Common afford it? I mean, it can't be that much money out of Common's budget if it's only 6 to 8 people. I mean, for a speaker to come there and have to spend $200 a night for hotels, plus, plus, plus for other things after giving like 10 sessions, as I did, I mean, it's just silly. Common should be covering those expenses. I'm willing to give my time, but I'm not willing to give up my family's vacation budget. And if it's only six to eight people, I don't understand why Common can't afford it. The closing event was a 60s theme. It's called the main event, and it's a 60s theme because Common was started in 1960. You can see the lights all over the place. It looked very cool. Um, they had a live band. Several other neat decorations. Um, yeah, chairs that look like hands. It was pretty cool. And there he is, Commons' new president, Pete Masiello. So now the conference is over. I have a few special thank yous. First of all, I want to thank Leo Lefebvre, who uh, let me borrow his monopod. A monopod is a device that helps you hold the camera steady, um, and it helped me take better videos for this conference. Um, and then my biggest thank you, my biggest thank you um, goes out to Penton Media. Um, because Common is no longer covering any of the speaker's expenses except registration, um, this would have been a very expensive affair for me to come. But Penton was good enough to sponsor me. They covered my expenses. So I can't thank you enough for, for making this possible. Um, I had a great time at Common, and that's because of Penton Media. So thank you, thank you.